Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another edition of uh, MHI sort of roundtable. Uh, virtual today, roundtable. Virtual. <laughs> we're here today with our good friend Nick Andrews, who is a biochemical engineer, creator of several pen, pending products, and a co-founder of a number of peptide and anti-aging companies like Intera Skincare, Accent Wellness, and Push Patch. He's also one of the world's top peptide formulators and a good friend. Uh, Nick, thank you so much today for being with us. And today we're going to talk about a super exciting product called Folatin Pro. Uh, Folatin Pro is a, is a, um, a peptide formulation that uh, Miguel and I both use uh, for different reasons. Uh, and it's all about hair health uh, and how to deal with hair loss as well. If if some of you watching are dealing with, with that um symptoms so we wanted to get a you know just a quick conversation to kind of unpack and unravel some of the a lot of the myths about hair loss you know you go online and you hear so much about different modalities different compounds i mean and so nick has uh for us been sort of like a uh coach to kind of unravel all of the mysteries around hair loss. So we'll talk about uh, some of those aspects today. And Nick, why don't you just give us kind of like an elevator sort of pitch, um, talking about like some of the causes of hair loss, the known causes of hair loss, some of the misconceptions about hair loss and and what to do about it. And, and maybe you watching, maybe you're not dealing with hair loss like me, I don't deal with hair loss, but I do care about protecting my hair and keeping my hair. So okay. maybe that's How a strategy for you. And how testosterone is not the cause of hair loss, but yeah. could influence, you know, all this, as you know, we use a lot of testosterone with men. So debunk a lot of that. And by the way, guys, I don't know any human being on planet Earth that has more studies on hair loss or that has done the research more than Nick regarding hair loss and GHK. And aside from everything else that's inside the Politin Pro product. Thank you, guys. It's a blast as always. <clears throat> so... Hair loss, it, you know, it, it's a fascinating topic when you really dig into it. The first thing you run into is the common conception of DHT is causing my hair loss, right? Um, and then there's a parallel question of, well, if you know it's DHT, uh, you know, why are there so many different products? Some work for some people, some don't for others. It, it's like a three ring circus out there. Yeah. Um, and, you know, when you actually understand hair loss, it actually starts to make a lot more sense. So the, the, the quick elevator pitch, so, you know, nobody wants to hear about 472 studies nobody actually cares about. <laughs> right. is, we do. Back, <laughs> we're, we're the nerds here. I, I don't mind. We do, we're, but most people don't. Research. So when you actually dig into it, is the fundamental modality of hair loss are two systems everybody's probably heard of, at least in passing. So you have the HPA axis, and you have adrenal function. So together, those two com control almost every aspect of your body, from your hormones, your skin quality, your mood, your stress response, all of the above. They're sort of the two of the most core systems that control all of your biology. So when those become dysregulated, and that can happen for any number of reasons, but when those become dysregulated, you get a cascade of effects. So any biological system, whether it's your skin, whether it's your, you know, your hormonal response, your testosterone level, um, any of those, they will become far more fragile once those two systems get disrupted. Now, part of going through life is wear and tear, right? So, you know, realistically, hair loss is not commonly an issue for a 25 year old, right? For a 55 year old, different matter because wear and tear you are not going to be able to train your body as hard at 55 as you did at 25 it's just the nature of life right so that's where the age component comes in so hpa axis and adrenal system okay so well how does dht play into this so what happens is as those systems get disrupted for any number of reasons, it could be lifestyle, it could be illness, it can actually be stress. As we were talking about earlier today, you can have somebody who goes through an extreme stress in life, you know, hey, I lost a family member or just some really bad stuff happened, and they can suddenly see very rapid hair loss. 
And that's exactly coming back because of the HP axis and the adrenals. So once those become disrupted, the, the systems throughout your body, in this case, where you excuse me, related to hair, suddenly become far less redundant. So your cells normally have all sorts of mechanisms to handle oxidative stress, um, higher levels of DHT, all kinds of insults to the body, right? Just wear and tear. But as those systems become dysregulated, they're going to struggle harder and harder to keep up with it. So DHT, does it cause hair loss? It's not the cause. It absolutely uh, contributes to it because DHT increases reactive oxygen species, ROS, which you guys have heard of, um, which is going to just make it harder and harder for the, for the follicle cells to do their job, right? Um, you mentioned therapeutic testosterone. So when you use therapeutic testosterone, some guys can notice thinning hair. Um, they can notice some reduced quality. Once again, because you're having an in, you are having an increase of DHT, but not only that, hair loss actually goes both ways. So when those systems become dysregulated, you can have an increased sensitivity to uh, estrogen, to estradiol. So really, the fundamental issue here, and then we'll get to how, how Fault and Pearl fix this, is that when you disrupt your biology through stress, environment, and any age, any number of factors, all your systems functionally become easier to disrupt, less robust. So there are lots of compounds out there. Why are we talking about Fault and Pearl? Folatum Pro is fundamentally a, a peptide-based solution. Realistically, anybody watching this, they know peptides. What do peptides do? They regenerate. Right. So, anyway, just so I always like to add, they're signaling agents, telling the body and instructing them to do specific jobs, right? So yep. this peptide is telling the body to do. So we have, guys, for those of you that don't know, over 7,000 naturally occurring peptide reactions in our body daily. And insulin is a peptide. The GOPs are peptides. There's thousands of them. So GHK is the most relative when it comes to skin and hair health. Go ahead, Nick. Sorry. So Fulton Pro um, has three different uh, peptides in it, and they're all hitting different aspects of the cellular function and the pathways involved in follicle health and follicle growth. So from reducing reactive oxygen species, to increasing blood flow, to also increasing the keratin growth cellular activity, which that's what your hair is made out of. So it's kind of important. <laughs> and then on top of that, it's not just improving the state, it's actually telling the cells to regenerate and rebuild their own functionality of that state at the same time. So the cool thing about folatin is so minoxidil, fundamentally, what's minoxidil doing? It's increasing blood flow. Um, but anybody who's used minoxidil, it can be phenomenal for some people. But the challenge can be when you stop using it, you rapidly start shedding and losing what you gain because that increased blood flow was only occurring while using minoxidil. Right. So with Folatin, you're rebuilding it. And so that's actually an example of where uh, we have – Great feedback, and I think you may have seen it before um, in yourself or some other people. Combining minoxidil and folatin, for example, can be a phenomenal combination because minoxidil is legit, right? It's going to increase blood flow. It's going to increase hair growth, but it only lasts as long as you're taking the minoxidil. But you know, what, what I understand, just to make this relative, Again, minoxidil completely shows that it's going to improve circulation. So it's going to make your hair grow faster. If I'm getting married in three months and I want thick and thicker hair, I would take minoxidil. But GHK is working a, a, a layer deeper where it's actually repairing not only the hair follicle, but everything else involved in that matrix. And you use it as a base layer on top of minoxidil. And you would cycle. We can get, get into that a little later, but cycle on and off of minoxidil to make sure you're not weakening the hair follicle, right? Yeah, definitely. So the, you, you nailed it. So think of Folatum Pro is essentially rebuilding the foundation of the house while Minoxidil is putting the new shutters on and a fresh coat of paint. I love that. Okay. And, you know, to your point about cycling is if you really get into the nerd stuff, which we can do that later off the video, 
is pretty much everything in your body works on cycles uh, and is used to being on and off, on and off. Awake, sleep, you know, eat, don't eat, fast, right? So your your body functions best when everything is cycled. So if it sees just a constant input, a constant push, your body will not literally ignore it, but kind of starts to be, well, you're telling me the same thing all the time, leave me alone, if that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Right. Almost so like that, insulin resistance. <laughs> it, it, yep, it's actually a phenomenal example. Right. Okay. So, you know, the, the magic with Follitin Pro is that it can be used on its own or it can be used in combination with multiple other products because fundamentally it's rebuilding the foundation. Whereas most other products, you know, there are other legitimate routes. You can derma roll and use caffeine, like we talked about before, and you'll see an improvement because of increased blood flow. But when you stop using it, just like minoxidil, you're going to lose the results because you weren't rebuilding the foundation. Okay. Now, um, so to recap, and I don't know if you said it clearly, but basically there's five things that are breaking down your hair. It's not just the DHT guys, but it's poor blood flow, uh, inflammation to the hair follicle, uh, deficiency in nutrients, specifically the bees and minerals like zinc yep. and uh, stress. Because I guess the cortisol, adrenal fatigue, it's just causing that hair follicle to age faster, right? Close yep. to that? Yep. Okay. Beautiful. And honestly, stress and, you know, stress, trauma, things like that, that is probably a significantly underappreciated one probably more so for guys than women, but most guys, you tell them to, to ease up. You know, guys are used to, I, I'm just going to suck it up and deal with it. If you're struggling with hair, you really need to be taking a look at that aspect of lifestyle. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And when we're talking about inflammation, I mean, sorry, when we're talking about, um, when we're talking about blood flow, which is the cardinal uh, culprit to the, to hair loss, you know, um, blood flow to the to the hair follicle um obviously you know by the time we're 40 we've lost 40 percent of our nitric 50 percent of our nitric oxide production so not only living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle but also supplementing with things like nitric oxide to improve that blood flow as well or any kind of basal dilator yeah so realistically <clears throat> with, with hair loss there is no single approach because yeah. each of our situations is a little bit different. My diet, my lifestyle is not going to be the same as either of yours. Right. So when you're really addressing hair, it's not just about what's on top of your head. It's about you as a system, your lifestyle, your supplementation, your diet. Sun is important, right? Are, are you actually getting out in the sun? Or are you sitting under fluorescent lights all day? Right. Right, right, right. And, uh, strongly recommend as well using a microderma needling uh, roller, right? Whether so, you're applying this product or not, whenever you're using hair products, you want it to get into the hair follicle. Otherwise, it's not being fully absorbed. Right. And for most people, the generally speaking, the best way to go about it is probably about three times a week. You can make it easy on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Right. And definitely with Follitin and probably with most hair products, you would want a derma roll before you apply the product and then just lightly massage the product into your scalp. Okay. Now, one other thing to keep in mind with Follitin is most people kind of get stuck in the mindset of more is better. And not just Follitin, but with a lot of hair products, especially with Follitin, your scalp can only absorb so much. You, you dump a five gallon bucket on your head. It's not going to do any more than if you just lightly apply with the dropper. So, you know, just realize what's more important is not getting five gallons of this stuff on your head, but getting it well worked into the scalp. For example, after using a, a derma rule. Yeah, no, right. it's, it's, it's uh, funny that you say that on the, on the golf courses, they make they have these machines that they make these holes to actually pour the minerals through there so yep. they can nourish that grass right because it's so tight that grass that it doesn't yep. make it through so think of your hair the same way you want to get in there so the product can do its job and repair okay yeah. the way the way that i use it i actually use a nitric oxide serum on my face 
And so I kind of just, you know, my my area of concern is always the hairline, uh, just to kind of make that stronger, because we only have one single hair coming out of the, the follicle versus in the back, you could have three, four hairs coming out of one follicle. Um, and so what I do is I, I apply the, the nitric oxide serum, and then I use a, a very like, I lightly squeeze the follicle and I make a, a very thin line across the hairline and I kind of massage it in. Mm -hmm. I don't like glob it. I just make a very thin line across and I just kind of massage it. And I've yeah. seen it today together with minoxidil. You, you, I mean, I know that we talked about this when you first sent it to me, it's like miracle grow. I mean, it's like the hair sprouts so fast. So yeah, fast. I'm talking about uh, Nick, in case you don't know, the nitric oxide product by Nathan uh, Bryan, which is a serum that actually enhances the blood flow to that specific area. So if you apply it on the hair follicle, you actually enhance the blood flow there. So if you do the roller and apply the GHK or the Follicin Pro, um, much better results. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... That's the way to go, guys. I appreciate your time and uh, look forward to- Yeah, man. Listen, Nick, uh, thank awesome you so stuff. much for your time and, you know, kind of dispelling this for us. Again, guys, you know, and yeah, obviously lifestyle is important. Managing stress is important. Um, living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle and obviously taking supplements that can produce vasodilation um, and having a routine, right? Um, but, you know, if you're interested in more of uh, finding out about Nick's work or his products, give us a call. We'll point you in the right direction. And when it comes to hair loss, I mean, we only talk to the best. So if you have questions, issues, concerns, give us a call and we'll help you out. Um, until then, be healthy and God bless. God bless. Thank you, guys.